If I had more time, I would have written a shorter letter. A famous phrase often attributed to Blaise Pascal, Woodrow Wilson, or Oscar Wilde. Whoever wrote it, the meaning remains the same. It takes skill to condense information into the smallest possible packet. Rambling is easy. Focusing is hard. This can relate to video games, MMORPG design, especially thanks to the popularity of a phrase I absolutely loathe. It gets good 100 hours in. I've been making MMORPG-related YouTube content for years, and variations of It Gets Good 100 Hours In are commented on every single video. It doesn't matter if I personally play for 5, 10, or 50 hours, I will always get someone telling me It Gets Good 100 Hours In. So let's discuss this. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. According to YouTube captions, I'm Josh Dryface. Certain video games, especially MMORPGs, are designed to be played for extremely long periods of time, which means the veterans in those games often have hundreds if not thousands of hours of gameplay time. So when a new player joins and says, I've got a problem with this system, I don't think this part of the game is as good as it can be, I'm not having a really good time in the early game, the veterans often respond, just play longer, it gets better. And a lot of people have told me, you need to play a game for about a hundred hours before you can properly critique it, especially an MMORPG. And I take umbrage against this exact statement, because I think saying you need to play for a hundred hours is used as an excuse for poor early game design, or vastly underestimates the amount of free time people actually have to play games. So let's look at both of those things. Before we begin, consider dropping a like on the video, subbing to the channel for more MMO stuff, or ringing the bell so you get all the future notifications. As usual, a massive thank you to all the supporters on Patreon and Twitch who keep the channel going. More on this at the end. For now, let's begin. There are three main areas I want to cover to explain why the it gets good 100 hours in argument is a terrible position for a game to be in and actively makes your game worse. First, the amount of time the average gamer has available to game. Second, the importance of the new player experience, specifically the first two hours, and finally the implication this has for your narrative focus, or lack of, for your game's writing. Let's start with the average gamer. Now when I say average gamer, who do you picture? What lifestyle do they have? And most importantly, how long do you think an average gamer plays games for? Multiple studies have been conducted over the pandemic, a perfect time to study gamers when we're all staying inside gaming. And the state of online gaming is interesting. Reported on by Tech Republic, it was found out the average gamer plays games for 8 hours and 27 minutes a week. That's just over 1 hour and 10 minutes a day. The average gamer is also a mid-30s professional male and has on average 3 children. Now, when I said picture the average gamer, most people don't picture a 30-something-year-old dad of three with an hour a day to game. Most people picture a younger person with four or more hours of gaming time every single night. And this is one of the issues with the 100-hour argument. MMOs need casual players to survive. They bolster the player base and bring in massive amounts of revenue, but the average casual player only has one hour to play. If you tell them a game needs a 100-hour investment to get good, chances are they will leave. Imagine if someone said to you, you must play this video game every moment of your free time for the next third of a year, and if you do that, you might end up having fun. 100 hours is much more than most people will have free in one, two, sometimes even three months. So saying that you need to play for 100 hours is unrealistic for the average player. In fact, the average player will give a new game two hours before deciding whether they want to carry on or quit. When I was playing Warframe, there is an achievement. Play for two hours. You know how many people have this achievement on Steam? 40%. Less than half of the people that downloaded Warframe survive for the first two hours. You're losing 60% of your potential player base within the first two hours. This is how important the new player experience is. This is the vital experience someone needs to have and enjoy to keep playing with your game. Saying, play for a hundred hours, it gets good then, is pointless if the majority of your player base is going to give up after two. Hardcore gamers, or veteran players of certain MMOs, ones with hundreds or thousands of hours already invested in, often forget how much of a time sink 100 hours really is for the average person. 
And I find it extremely telling when players tell me to play their game for at least 100 hours to get to the good bit, but when I ask them if they're willing to play my MMO for 100 hours to try it out, suddenly it's too much of a time investment. You ever notice how the long-time enfranchised players will demand others forgive their game's early design and insist it's worth pushing through, but then they're not willing to push through the early design of others? If you have time invested into a game and you insist others do the same, but when you try to invest time into another game, you realise you're not enjoying it early on and consider quitting within the first two hours, that's how new people feel coming to your game. Many game companies refuse to invest in or update the new player experience because that's not the part that they think makes money. The big spenders are the long-time players, the higher levels, but those companies often fail to see that you only find and keep new long-term players when people make it through your early game. The first two hours of a game are essential, never mind the suggestion of the first hundred. Most people won't find a hundred hours free in several months. 100 hours is a crazy amount of free time for the average person to actually find. You can watch the complete series of Firefly in 15 hours. You can watch all of Breaking Bad in 61 hours, all of Game of Thrones in 63. On average, you can finish the entire Lord of the Rings trilogy in 23 hours. The books, not the films. You can play the entirety of The Witcher 3 and all extra content and missions, including every Gwent match, in just over 100 hours. So telling someone to invest as much time as The Witcher would take into an MMO that might get good is a bit of a gamble. In 1995, entertainers Penn and Teller released the parody video game Desert Bus. In it, you must drive a bus in real time from Tuscan to Las Vegas. It takes eight hours there and eight hours back, and the bus lists to the right constantly, so you have to actually pay attention. You can't just click drive and wait. It takes 16 hours to finish. Imagine someone saying to you, finish Desert Bus six times, and then it gets really good. They might be telling the truth. It might get really good, but are you going to actually want to invest all of that time to get to the good bit or are you going to go and do something that's good now? So the average gamer has just over an hour and 10 minutes a day free to play and will give your game two hours before deciding whether they want to quit or carry on. And you're saying the game needs at least 100 hours. You've lost players far before you get to the 100 hour mark. But let's ask another question. If the game does indeed get good after 100 hours, why? Why do you need 100 hours for the game to get good? What is it doing after the 100 hour mark that it can't be doing before? When a player says a game gets good, they mean it changes. And there's only really three ways it can change to affect the enjoyment factor. Either it takes the systems it already has and refines them to such a degree that all the mechanical aspects suddenly make sense and are more enjoyable to use, or it changes everything about the systems and the changes for the better, or it sets up 100 hours worth of context and backstory and now things make sense and the story gets good. All of these have their issues. If your game takes 100 hours for the mechanics in it to become refined and enjoyable enough to be engaging and fun, then why are you actively choosing to keep the opening 100 hours, which you have admitted are subpar? Why on earth would you actively force a new player to slog through the worst part of your game first before letting them get to the good part. A game isn't a job, and the majority of your player base will not want to treat your game as a second job. It's not a trial you must pass, it's a recreational hobby. If you as a game designer have a 100 hour long game, but only the final two hours are as good as you can make them and as fun as they can be, then what you have is a two hour long game with 98 hours of intro crap. Trim the excess off and place quality over quantity. MMOs know the early game can suck, which is why they sell boosts, and people get angry at people when they buy boosts, but consider this. Let's redirect your anger toward the game design and not the players, because when long-term players discover new players have the ability to pay to boost through the content, they often get angry, but why? Why anger? Why annoyance? Is it because you feel the playing of the game is a rite of passage, a trial that you completed and therefore others must as well? Because if the early game was legitimately fun and enjoyable and great for you and someone boosts through it, you should feel sorry for them. They missed out on a great experience. You have good memories of it 
and they don't. What a shame. If the early game is indeed terrible and they boosted and you get annoyed that you had to slog through it and they didn't, that's really malicious. You're admitting the game design is bad but see enduring it as some sort of badge of honour. If the early gameplay isn't good, then you should be lobbying for it to be improved, not forcing other new players to go through it so their suffering matches yours and you feel vindicated. If suffering through the early game crap is a rite of passage for your game's community, don't be surprised when that community doesn't grow and new players quit. The other potential of a game getting good after 100 hours is because the gameplay changes to a new style or what you're doing in the game switches dramatically. This happens in terror when your class goes through the awakening and the gameplay of that class becomes vastly different. So different in fact, all your training and muscle memory up to this point is now basically useless. If your game does this, why? If you have a game design switch that many players will argue is objectively better, then bring that forward so a new player gets a taste of it from the very start. I'm not saying you need to thrust a new player into a chaotic, overwhelming mess of a system from day one. I'm saying if you have decided your advanced players get to experience something awesome, then your new players should be working toward that from the start, not experiencing an inferior system for the first hundred hours. And finally, the idea that hundreds of hours worth of setup is needed for a payoff, such as context or characterization or world building. Skilled world building or emotional setups can be woven into the fabric of gameplay the audio or the visual mediums, the voiceover lines, or the gameplay itself. If you need 100 hours worth of setup for a payoff, it needs to be the greatest payoff in all of gaming, because you are literally taking more time to set your story up than Breaking Bad takes to tell its entire story. Otherwise, you need to trim down, and as the quote at the start mentioned, take more time to write a shorter letter. So the next time you tell someone it gets good after 100 hours, please remember, if you actually want to attract new players to your game or convince new people to play it, this is a terrible thing to say. You are not helping your own cause because the average person has just over one hour a day to play and will not enjoy the idea of investing 100 hours into something they might not even enjoy. Telling someone it takes a hundred hours to get good is basically saying to someone, do you want to dedicate a third of your year to maybe enjoying this? They will, on average, invest two hours into your game, and they will leave if it doesn't engage them. If your game takes a hundred hours to get good, you are actively saying the first hundred hours is a subpar quality product compared to the rest. So why on earth are you keeping it, and why are you making it the first thing that potential new players to your franchise see? You are putting your worst foot forward. If your game changes after a hundred hours in to suddenly get fun, just put that fun at the front and start with it. If you are not able to build an engaging involved narrative, story or world within 100 hours, sit down with your writing team and condense that down. Telling a new player your game gets good after a hundred hours isn't a positive description of your game. You're telling a new player they will need to experience an actively inferior product. They'll have to play through a pointless section. In some cases, if the game changes in the late game, a completely irrelevant 100 hours, because it won't matter what they do in those anyway. If you need 100 hours to set a narrative up, you need to condense your story down. When you say to someone it gets good after 100 hours, that's not a positive for your game design. So if you want new players to experience your game and stick with it, the next time you're telling someone it gets good 100 hours in, just stop and ask yourself, why? Why do you feel the need to tell this to them? Why do you need to experience 100 hours of low quality game before the good bit happens? And if you're making a game, remember, you've got two hours to grab and hold someone's attention and then remain consistently high quality. If eventually you realise your early game is weak compared to your late game because you as a developer have improved and your quality has increased, change your early game to match your late game's quality. I guarantee you will notice an increase in players and revenue if you do. Sorry this video dragged on longer than it needed to. If I had longer to make it, I would have written a shorter script. Cheers for watching. Another massive thank you to the supporters on Patreon and Twitch who keep the channel alive. You can support from only £1 a month. Check the video description for links to the Patreon, Twitch, Twitter and Discord. And as always, have a great day.